Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Subnautica Below Zero guided gameplay. We're picking up exactly where we left off at the end of the last episode, in which we had just found this new area back here in the Glacial Basin. Titanium, I think we're okay on. Uh, and Robin's getting a little chilly. So let's hope we find a way for her to warm up quickly. Let's keep our eyes open for any venting thermal vents. Or maybe a cave we can duck into, because she is getting cold. What's up here? Uh, I don't know if we really want to check out. Let's not check those out. Well, you know what? We'll eat a fevered pepper <laughs> that we just picked up. Warm up a little bit. Water purification tablets. We don't need more water purification. Fiber mesh. Now we have all the fiber mesh we're going to need to make the cold suit. Remember, we found three when we first got off the sea truck back there in the water. Now we have four. So we need two pieces for the bodysuit, a piece for the gloves, and a piece for the helmet. Ooh, Parvin's office or sleeping quarters or something. I got this. I got it. What? It's a little stuck. Let's get... No, no, close from the inside. <sighs> Robin. Robin, I wanted to close it from the inside because we were in there and it was it was cold. All right, let's just leave it open. <laughs> oh, lots of cool stuff in here because this was Parvin's office. Look at that poster. Yes, want. Poster like I used to color in when I was a kid. Oh, great. Another jukebox disc. That's two we found recently. And let's listen to the PDA. My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Ugh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Ugh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, mm. why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, Papa. embarrassing. <sighs> I want to apologize. I don't, there's nothing okay, I want no, to drop. taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love we'll you wait on that one. and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and... How everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look well, forward to is weekly. Play alien invader. Alien intruder, yeah, that's what I was. That, that's what I'm saying. Of coming home to you. Oop, I am oop, sorry for all yet. the times I did not appreciate you. Uh, of our family. Uh, the good life we had. And I... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? Aww. Not saying I'm a fan of Parvin's. He complains quite a bit. But... I can see how you could feel pretty freaking lonely on this planet. Especially if you didn't like the people if you were working with. Then you won't mind if I record this conversation, is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left this out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh. Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, inventory full... Uh, yeah. Oh, there's so much good stuff. here? Stuff. I sense many things here. Death among them. Hmm. Death among them. Guys, I have a feeling we are going to find a bunch of great 
stuff, valuable stuff in here that we're going to want to pick up. So what I'm going to do is take two seconds to run back to the sea truck off camera and uh, drop off a bunch of stuff so that we have some inventory space to pick this stuff up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, survivors. Well, I kind of lied to you a little bit there. We are not picking this up back in the cave with the giant creature. Instead, I thought, well, heck, we're back here at the freaking sea truck anyway. Why don't we just go ahead and make ourselves a snow fox? We, I brought, got, picked up all the stuff that we're going to need. It'll be two pieces of magnetite, a battery of lubricant, and titanium. So let's make ourselves a snow fox. This will help us get back to the cave a little bit faster, but at the same time, it's not a trip that's really designed for the snow fox, so we're going to have to pick it up and put it in our pocket a couple of times. All right, and then, of course, we want uh, not just plain old black and white. We want some color. I think. Yes. I think a yellow snow fox works. What kind of orangish, maybe? Yeah, because her name is going to be Vixen, suggested by Charlie. Oh, caps. Because a Vixen is a female fox. So that works great, doesn't it? All right, let's take our first trip on the Vixen. Yeah. The awkwardest vehicle ever designed. Somehow supposed to make travel easier. It is certainly faster in a straight line, once you get the hang of it. We are snow foxing. But now, for example, if we want to bring the snow fox with us back up in here, we're going to have to get off and pack it up and carry it. And that requires how much room in your inventory? A lot. What, six, not nine inventory slots. Um, I'm not going to put it back down right now because we got all these fissures, which make this a little tricky. I'm just going to get past the fissures and we'll drop it again. Okay. Deploy the fox. The vixen. Nope, I don't want the upgrades. No, and I don't want to pack it up either. And then down here, we're going to have to pack it up again because we have that little swimming section. There may be a way to get there without swimming. If there is, I don't know what it is. Maybe down here. This is not the way we originally went. I'm going a different way now. No, no, maybe this is. Well, uh, oh, right, all right. This is just a different way to get here, okay. We've done both of these. Ow. And I don't have the Sea Glide equipped, and that's fine by me. I'm hankering for a little quiet swimmage after being out in the elements for so long. Oh, I actually, I do have the Sea Glide, okay. I'm not going to deploy the snow fox here. It's going to be awkward in this cave. We'll wait, wait till we get out of here. Okay, now we can fox it. Vixen, you're facing the wrong way, hon. What's with you today? You're acting all crazy.
We checked all the boxes that were up there by the antenna, right? Yeah, we did. We might be able to do a little caving with this. Let's see. Ugh, so awkward. So hard to control. Why are you not going the direction I want you to go? Oh. Okay. And we're coming back out this way, so I'm not going to pack it up. Okay, we're back. PDA. Hello? Someone there? Oh, no. Samantha? Is that you? Oh, yeah. I told you I was investigating. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm on my way out. You can't keep doing this. We have protocols. Harvin, stand back. Don't come any closer. Why? What are you up to? Harvin, I mean it. Stop. I... Oh no. Oh no. So now we know how Sam died. Sounds like she was trying to carry out the mission for Meta to come back in here and collapse the entrance to this tunnel using an explosive charge. And then Parvin saw what she was doing on her his monitors, or maybe he was just doing a routine security patrol, and he came in here right as she was about to detonate it and ended up getting killed by it. And that also collapsed it on Sam. And that's what killed Sam. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I keep running back and forth. I can't make up my mind which I want to do first. Let's Since we just finished that part, let's pick up. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Sam's necklace. All right, now let's listen to this one while I look around a little. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayin. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. The prints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, there is a connection. Who is responsible? Uh, Marguerite Maida. Uh, what I'm thinking is that your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I don't know. I I feel. Disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. Mine too. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I yep. think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. Yeah, this was Sam intentionally trying to collapse the cave entrance. What I'm thinking is Sam was up here, right? And she is about to... I don't know why she would detonate it from in here, though. That makes absolutely no sense because she would trap herself in here. There's no other way out. There used to be a... well, whatever. I'm thinking Sam's up here. 
She's about to detonate that. She sees Parvin come walking in. She's like, Parvin, wait, wait. And then she steps forward to try to stop him, to try to get closer to him, to, to make him wait. And she falls right off of here. And I'm thinking that's probably how she died. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Haha. <laughs> Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead. But I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creature still dead. Cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now. What's this? A rock. I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. Now that is some exciting storytelling about how incredibly boring Parvin's life was. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Okay, what else we got? Now you saw I picked up a couple of good stuff of things there. Um, I picked up an advanced wiring kit. I mean, that's worth the price of admission right there. Just the kit in terms of getting stuff out of here because those are not easy to make. And then something else new, hydrochloric acid. Not easy to make. Okay. Got all the stuff down here. Let's go up. You are not handsome. You're terrifying, you big ugly beast. Look at you. Wow, we'll check him out in a minute. Let's see what's up here on this, uh, this platform. Because that is synthetic fibers, very valuable. Fiber mesh, more fiber mesh now. Some silicone rubber also. What else we got? Uh-huh. A little remote control dealy. Insert sample, which we don't have. A sample to insert. Big teeths. Okay, we've completed our scan of the frozen Leviathan. We found this thing buried in the glacier. Gave us someone a hell of a fright. Turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. It was infected with the Kara bacterium, aggressive disease, yada, yada. We know what the Kara is. Research on the bacterium has been transferred to the secure Omega Laboratory. We already knew that. While further research on the creature will be conducted at the excavation site. Okay, we've gotten all the scans we were going to get off that creature. I don't know why I came up here. There was no reason to. But it looks like there's more to be done here with a sample, an injectable sample. So we'll keep that in mind for later. But while we're out here, did we get all the good stuff? I feel like there was more to pick up here. I think I got everything. Well, there's a, there's a fully functional scanner here if for some reason you need a scanner. And why the scanner sitting next to um, Sam's necklace is important, I don't really know. I don't think it is. But we're kind of done in here for the time being. Let's get out. Come on, Vixen. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Be 
because while we're okay so what i will do right now is whoop, whoop, whoops shouldn't have done that it's a wrong turn and now we're in a tight squeeze Ugh. okay what i will do shoot the sun's going down we took a long time doing all that let me take a quick no stop bobbing around hold on let me move this let's take a quick look at the pda map uh glacial no not glacial facilities map no glacial basin map um, okay, so we're back in here now, right? Man, did I describe this completely wrong before? This is this is the side of the bridge that we are on. That's Phi Robotics. I'm sorry, I haven't spent that much time back in here, so I don't I don't really know this area very well. That's Phi Robotics, and then we came back through here, and now we're back in here. We're we're basically we're in a cave up here underneath this antenna and then we've got this hand-drawn figure of a spy pengling there with a hand-drawn circle around it so why don't we try to go check that out unfortunately it's night that's not great but we can tell from the map that if we go directly south we should be able to find something that way I'm sorry I, I described that map that we found to you completely wrong with the first time we picked it up. That was not the other side of the bridge, that was this side of the bridge. I just, between you and me guys, I try to spend as little time back in here as possible. <laughs> this is, we are not subnautic right now and it, it <laughs> aggravates me. So I usually just do what I need to do back in here and get the heck out. Uh, Snow Fox Jump Module. We can upgrade our Snow Fox to jump higher if we want to. Power cell. Okay. I think that's it. Um, not really sure what this site was about. Did I miss a box there? I did. Uh, more fiber mesh, which we now have a lot of fiber mesh. More than we'll ever need. Are we still going south? I think we're still going south. Yeah. And there's another box. I, I don't know what I could they could possibly have in here that I would need. Well, a first aid kit. All right. Let's drink a little water as long as we're stopped. Mm -mm, water. And food. And more food. Kind of wanted to have that for heat, but shoot. I really don't want to do this at night. It's not going to be very helpful for you, and I may get lost because, as I said, I'm not super familiar with this area. Well, this looks to be about the area marked on the map. Let's look around a little bit here. Mm, ladder over there. something we've never seen over there that's not the, the that's not the area we just saw right oh it is it is it just it curved us up around okay that's just another way to get here um i'm gonna go park myself by this vent and take another look at the map so we came back in here, we were there, and now we're coming up here, and it should be right around here. Okay. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so... Just bad timing for this in general. Oh, great, and now a storm's coming. Even worse timing. And there's a stalker here. I gotta stay warm. Ooh, please don't run out. I need your heat. Of course, we could always jump back on the, the Snow Fox. The Snow Fox has a built-in heater in the seat. So if you're desperate, you can use that as... as heat, as a heat source. Frosted Sinew Tree. Nice. Yeah, rats. I kind of just want to sit here until the sun comes up. I am just going to be wandering around not knowing. Whoop, there's a spy penguin cave. This could be it, but it's so cold here. 
I think I'm going to bring the fox up here so that we can make the most of its heater as we do this. I don't even know if that's the correct spy penguin cave. The map actually has a bunch of different caves marked. Spy penguin caves, I mean. What's that? Oh, stalker? Okay. Alright, I don't know. I don't know if we're in the right place. Go, be free! No, don't be free. Do my bidding. Ready for my assignment. Good. I don't think this is the right one. But let's see what else is in here. More magnetite. More quartz. A PDA. Oh, I can't access it from here. We're going to have to get to it enough, uh, when we get back out of this. I think that's everything that's in here. We're not in the correct cave. Not the one that's marked with a... That's circled. Marked with a red circle. But knowing that this is where we are might give us a hint as to where the other one is. And the sun is up, so we can take a selfie with Robin. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to. I would have to turn around, and hypothermia is imminent, so forget it. Ah, that's warmer. I didn't even pick up the spy pangling. I just wanted to warm up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's take this opportunity to look at the map again. So, there's a... So, we came down here. There's that marked there. And then around the corner, there's this. And then, it looks like that's a drop, maybe. But a little thing of water there. I feel like it should be right around here. I think we are close. Just haven't nailed down exactly Infants the right spot. Yeah. Yeah, why does that not surprise me? Let's see if we can find that little water spit that's indicated there. Here's a little water. Okay. All right, here's a little water. There's a light stick. Um, oh, that's a big cave. We don't want that. Let's go back here. I saw a little ramp up here that we didn't follow, and it is very cold with this storm right now. Oh, uh, that was it for the steam vent. I want to go up this ramp. Oh, nope, not up that ramp. Steam vent. What ramp was it I saw and wanted to go up? Where's the water? Up there. I want to be up there. No? No. No. Ooh, sorry, Robin. A little drop of water just back from it. Should be up here. Gosh, it really feels like that's the right one back there. But it wasn't. Well, guys, welcome to the Glacial Basin. You'll get lost, even when you know where you're going. Imminent. Yeah, I hear ya. Hypothermia and hungry stalkers. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to make it back to this 
no fox before we freeze to death, and I have... Oh, I have coffee. Whew. <laughs> that saved us. Wow. Apologies, guys. I should have known, based on the fact that I, I just spend as little time in here as possible, that I might get lost for this part. That text site's not marked, is it? Already? Are we going to make it back to the Vixen? This is going to be close. Oh, steam vent, please. Keep cooking, keep cooking. I just need a few more seconds. Whew. All right, we're, we're bringing the snow fox with us now. Is there a chance I missed what we were supposed to find back in here? Okay, so not this cave. We are heading back down. Actually, yeah, you probably couldn't have missed the edit there since it's now nighttime, almost, uh, well, sunset. But yeah, I got a little lost back here. I couldn't find what we were looking for. I thought I would pack up. I have no idea what that noise was pack up the snow fox and take a walk around and I did find what we're looking for and in fact we're gonna have to drop the snow fox again to just get to make it easier to get down there oh no and the sun's gone down and it's snowing that's all right ooh, ooh, we needed that snow fox seat that heated snow fox seat helped us out there all right we're gonna go down a uh, hill a uh, boop and now we're going to look around for something that looks like a spy penguin cave. Snow fox. Aha! I see a blinking light that indicates a spy penguin cave. Oh, oh. if the snow fox would cooperate. Okay, spy penguin back in and deploy. And go get them, beast. And make it quick, because there are snow stalkers out here. We're not going to get eaten by a snow stalker, are we? Aha! Antidote. Antidote. Sam must have stashed this here. Yeah. An antidote at the location marked on the map with a little spy pangling with a red circle around it. Ah! We saw that about to happen. Uh, Flare, get out of here. Get out of here. That didn't hurt too much. We're okay. Okay, so what now? Well, what now is we have to find another way out of here. That is water, apparently, and we can't take the snow fox into water. So, uh, I mean, we could go back up and back out the way we came in. Let's just do a little bit more exploration while we're down here. 